Hi, Tom. Hi, Kevin. Thank you so much for your time. It's a pleasure to meet you and talk to you. Pleasure to meet and, you. And yes, I just love the movie. It's the F word of a movie. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank you thank so much. You. So I'm going to start with you, Tom. Uh, I mean, there is only one question that, that I one question that I think everybody has. Uh, what the hell did you manage to get Nick Cage to do the movie? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, we had written the entire script. So we had the script in hand and we were going to give it to him. And we decided to write him a letter. And in the letter, we talked about how Nicolas Cage has done every different genre of movie well, whether it's comedy, family comedy, drama, you know, horror movies, action movies, thrillers. We're like, okay, this is your chance uh, to do all of those things kind of in one film if we can pull it off. And I think for Nick, that really got the wheel spinning. Yeah. And, and Kevin, like, how did you decide, like, when you guys, like, writing the script, deciding which Nicolas Cage references to put in versus the one that live, live it out? Um, I mean, I think really we, we, I think first we started with the films we, we loved of his. And for me, that's, you know, The Rock, Con Air, um, uh, Leaving Las Vegas, kind of the ones you knew. But as we, as we got to know Nick and as we started shooting and he became more comfortable and kind of understood what we were doing, he actually started um, adding references uh, from films himself. So there's a, a moment towards the end of the movie where uh, the last scene where he's with his family and he's talking about the belts and he goes, oh, not the bees, not the bees from Wicker Man. Um, that was something that he decided to throw in uh, on the day. So. That's amazing. And also like to, to, to find the perfect actor to playing against Nicolas Cage. What was about Pedro Pascal, the previous work that got your attention? Tom? You know, we've never really seen Pedro do this type of character before, but we set up a meeting with him. We went to have lunch with Pedro and it turned out he was just as big a Nicolas Cage fan as we were. And we were all just talking about the movies we loved. And we thought there's so much of the Javi character in Pedro uh, that he's the perfect guy to actually compliment Nicolas Cage. He was the perfect guy. There's so much of Pedro in that character. And my wife, my wife is like the world's um, almost to a weird degree, uh, Pedro Pascal fan. And so <laughs> when we were trying to, you know, decide she was just all I, I relentlessly heard at home was like, you have to cast Pedro Pascal. Like he is a star. He can do it all. So, but so glad we made that decision. So it's, it's incredible chemistry that both had on set. It's incredible. You can see on the screen. I love that. Thank you so much for that too. Also, uh, what was like your biggest challenge, Tom, as a director? Because you have like different like action. There was like a little bit of romance, a little bit of drama. How was like your biggest challenge? I think the biggest challenge in this movie was trying to manage uh, where the real Nicolas Cage and the character of Nicolas Cage intersected. And it was a constant dance between what Nick was willing to show the world, what was written on the page, and how those things you know, came together. And I think the most interesting moments for us were when the real Nicolas Cage was coming out through the character. Amazing. I just want to thank you so much for your time. See you next time. <laughs> thank you so much. much. <laughs> Bye. It. Thank you. <laughs>